In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good we are on the second day of our novena, and as we gather together in prayer, let us continue to ask the Lord for the right answers and the right questions in our lives. And many brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Wisdom and love, you decreed that your son should be born of a woman and subject to her guidance. Grant that we may enter more and more into the mystery of your incarnate word and with him lead a hidden life on earth until escorted by his virgin mother, we may joyously enter your home in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the Spirit of His Son 
into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child, and if a child, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I do not busy myself with great matters, with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Rather, I have stilled my soul, hush it like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Israel, hope in the Lord, now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Please stand. Virgin Mother of God, He whom the whole, the whole world cannot contain, enclose Himself as, ch as a child within your womb. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, Jesus' parents found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his, at his understanding and his answers. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents did not understand what he said to them. Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. My dear sisters, brothers and friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ating pagnanobena, inuumpisa na natin na ngayon po ay kalawang araw na ng ating nobena at uh, nawa itong ating pag-aalay ng mga panalangin, paghahanda para sa kanyang piyesta ay makapagpalagpalago rin sa atin, sa ating buhay pananampalataya, sa ating buhay spiritual. No? No, sapagat yun po yung dapat na nangyayari sa atin. Dapat tayo ay kada araw ay nag-grow. Lumalago, kung sa halaman, lumalago, kung tayo, nagmamature tayo. Hindi mature lang na parang sasabihin natin na parang negative na nagmature, tumanda. Hindi po, may wisdom ang pagtanda. Yung nagmamature ka, gracefully tumatan, nagkakaroon ng wisdom. So ngayon po, sa araw na to, kung ating titingnan, ang pinagninilayan natin, ang binasa nating Ebanghelyo, ay tungkol doon sa isang eksena sa buhay ng Panginoon kung saan, Uh, buong pamilya, yung Holy Family ay naglakbay, it so happened na wala si Jesus. Hindi nagkaintindihan. You know? So, mabuti na nga lang po yung eksenang ito 
si Jesus ay nawala sa templo. Sa ating panahon, maraming mga kabataan, maraming anak, hindi sa templo nawawala kung saan-saan. Di malaman kung nasaan ang mga anak. May mga magulang din, hindi na pinapakailaman minsan yung mga anak kung nasaan. So dito, yung Holy Family, at least sa templo, so, doon medyo naligaw or nagkaroon ng misunderstanding. So yun po yung marahil ating magandang mga punto na tingnan dito sa istoryang ito ng Ebanghelyo, sa buhay ng Panginoon, ng malabirhen ni San Jose, ang tawag natin ay Holy Family. Una, kahit ang Holy Family ay nakaka-encounter ng misunderstanding. So dito sa kwentong ito, it showed us na merong misunderstanding, merong hindi nagkaintindihan. Akala ni Jose na kasama ni Maria, akala naman ni Maria kasama ni Jose, yung pala na iwan si Jesus doon sa templo sa Jerusalem. So, sa ating pong buhay, pwedeng masasabi natin may ganun ding mga pangyayari. May mga misunderstanding. Kahit po yung, kung, kung yung Holy Family ay nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding, all the more sa ating mga imperfect family. Wala pong perfect na family habang tayo nasa mundo. Laging mayroong pwedeng aberya sa ating mga pamilya. Pero ang maganda po doon, sana, katulad ng ginawa ng Holy Family, merong pag-aayos. No? Hindi lang hinayaan na magkaroon ng misunderstanding. So sa family, kinakailangan po nandoon yung pagkakaunawaan, nandoon yung pag-iintindihan, nandoon yung pagkakapatawaran kung sakali na mayroon mang mga pagkakamali or misunderstanding. Kini-clear. Nililiwanag. So dito po, niliwanag, no? nagsalita ang mahal na Birhen, kaya nga sinabi, anak, bakit mo naman ginawa ito sa amin? No? So parang napaka-human nung kanyang, nung kanyang parang uh, nabanggit sa kanyang anak. Marahil sa atin din po mga pamilya, minsan may mga ganong eksena, pero sana hindi lang may iwan sa wala, hindi na mag-iimikan, hindi na mag-uusap, hindi na magpapatawaran. Kung tayo po'y nasa family, sana doon sa ating family ay makikita yung no, pagtanggap. So, kung sa pamilya po, doon nag-uumpisa yung feeling of belongingness. Nakasali ka, accepted ka, kahit na hindi ka perfecto. Tayo rin po mga magulang, kung kayo ay sa inyong pagpapalaki ng anak, nawa, no? Alam natin na hindi perfecto tayo at ganun din yung ating mga anak. Sana po makita natin, mayroong puwang para umunawa. Kasi kung sarado tayo at magsasara ang bawat isa, eh paano magkakaroon ng pagkakasunduan? Ngayon po, pangalawang punto na maganda nating tingnan, si Jesus ay at home doon sa templo ng kanyang ama. Jesus is at home in the temple of His Father. Yun yung maganda nating tingnan. Sana tayo rin. Sa simbahan, sa templo ng Panginoon, sana at home din po tayo. Sana nakikita natin na being, being member of the church, bilang mga member ng simbahan, eh alam natin na tayo kasali. At kung tayo naman po sa, sa simbahan, ang ating hope, na inaabot tayo ng simbahan. No, pati yung kabataan ay inaabot sana ng simbahan. So pero doon po nag-uumpisa yung formation, no? Yung pagkamulat tungkol sa Diyos nag-uumpisa kung lumalapit tayo sa Diyos at ang isang ating lugar kung saan natin sana ay maunawaan, makikilala at sasambahin at mamahalin ng Diyos nag-uumpisa sa ating pagdulog sa templo ng Diyos. Pag ganitong tayo nagsisimba, pag ganitong naunaalala natin yung magpasalamat sa Diyos, sana po napapalapit tayo sa Diyos. Nagiging at home tayo sa Diyos. Mahalaga po yun. At sana, dinadala po natin yung ating mga anak. No? Yung mga pamilya, sana dinadala po natin ang ating mga pamilya palapit sa Diyos. Sapagat kung malapit ang bawat pamilya sa Diyos, mas malaking chance kahit uh, saan maglakbay, makakabalik. Sapagkat yung grasya ng Diyos ang gagabay 
para magkasama-sama uli. Sapagat in the end, yun naman po yung mangyayari, magsasama-samahin tayo ng Diyos sa langit. So dapat, dito pa lang, at home na tayo, katulad po ni Jesus. Si Jesus din, at home, sa salita ng kanyang ama, sa gawain ng kanyang ama. Tayo rin po nawa, mga Kristiyano, mga Katoliko, sana at home tayo sa salita ng Diyos. Inaaral natin, pinapakinggan natin, binabasa natin ang salita ng Diyos, that is being at home. No? Hindi yung at home na, si, na ang kahulugan ay parang pag nandito ka sa simbahan, ikala mo eh, parang nasa bahay ka na kung makaupo ka, nakataas ang paa mo. Hindi po yun ay ibig sabihin ko ng pagiging at home. Yung at home na nag-grow ka, may respeto at natututo ka at siniseryoso mo, nagkakaroon ka ng paglago habang nandito ka sa templo ng Diyos. Ngayon po, pangatlo, pinapaalala po sa atin ng eksenang ito na ang Panginoon no, at ang, ang banal na pamilya kung pa paano na sila ay uh, together no? na at home nagkakaintindihan sana po ang, ang pamilya uh, at ang ating mga pamilya ay sama-sama na uh, lumalapit sa Diyos nagkakaroon tayo ng magandang uh, bunga dahil tayo ay palaging lumalapit at nakikilala natin ang Diyos at paano po nangyari nagkakaroon tayo ng formation sa pamilya po nag-uumpisa ang formation natin bilang mga Kristiyano. At sa simbahan, pinapalago lalo. Pero mahalaga po yung formation. Paghubog. Kinakailangan, nahuhubog tayo. Nakakalungkot kapag ang ating mga pamilya, hindi na namumulat yung mga bata kung paano magdasal, paano gumalang sa kapwa, paano tumulong sa kapwa. Nag-uumpisa po ang magandang asal ng mga Kristiyano sa bahay sa pamilya. So sana rin po, no, kung papaano na ang Panginoon ay bumalik. No? After nung nawala, nung sila magkita-kita, nung siya'y umuwi, nung bumalik, siya'y naging obedient. No? Naging masunurin sa kanyang pamilya. So ta- yun din po ang inaasahan sa atin. At sa pagiging masunurin, na form tayo, na huhubog tayo sa kagandahang asa. So yun po yung ating ipag-pray at yun yung ating sikapit na isa buhay. Kung tayo may mga pamilya at sa ating mga sarili mga gawain, tayo ay nahuhubog para sa kagandahang asal. Natututo tayo at yun nga po, yung mga sagot, yung mga tanong natin sa buhay, tayo, lalo na po ngayon, nasa damba na tayo ng mahal na ina, alam natin pwedeng marami tayong dalang tanong, marami tayong hinihiling, pero sana as we seek, No, kung, kung may mga nawawala na hinahanap natin, mga tanong o mga sitwasyon sa buhay na gusto natin mangyari sa ating buhay, sana po marunong din tayo kung tayo na-perform, marunong tayong mag-seek, maghanap ng tamang tanong. Ano, hindi lang yung mga sagot. Kasi kapag tama ang mga tanong na atin pong inuusisa, lalago tayo. Kasi kung mababaw lang ang tanong, ay di mababaw yung ating paglago. Pero kung mga mahalagang bagay ay tinatanong at sinisikap nating sagutin, kasama ang Diyos. Lagi pong ilagay niyo yun. Kasama ang Diyos. Mahirap magtanong ka lang na yung sarili mo lang sagot. Kailangan sa ating pong pagtatanong, sa ating paghahanap, sana kasama natin ang Diyos through prayer, through study, through reading the Word of God, through example na ating mga mahal sa buhay, yung kanilang mga commitment na wapo matutunan natin para tayo rin mismo mas mag-grow. At hopefully, kapag tayo po ay tama ang sa tanong, magiging tama ang sagot at makikilala natin or makikita natin ang Panginoon. We will find Jesus. So ngayon po umagang ito, we hope dito sa dambana ng Mahal na Birhen, somehow, we are struggling to find Jesus as we try to find ourselves and the questions in our lives. Nawapo, laging makita natin sa dulo ang sagot sa ating mga problema, ang Panginoon. Jesus is the answer. Let us find Him. 
Tayo po ngayon magsitayo at patuloy tayong magpasalamat sa kanyang mga pagpapala. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for His Mother. Let us ask Him, May your Mother intercede for us, Lord. May your Mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace that they may become living witnesses of your love in their vocation of wholehearted service. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You thought Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary receive God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the members of our community who have died rejoice in your kingdom with your saints forever, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. All powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which it has given him and has made and become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please Pray, my beloved sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, we offer you these offerings of con conciliation and praise humbly asking that following the example of the Virgin of Nazareth, we may present our very selves as holy sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hands. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. God, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for, uh, 
For of Nazareth she receives with faith the message of Gabriel and becomes the mother of your son, begotten by you before the ages, now born into this world of time as our Savior and our brother. At Nazareth too, in loving communion with her son, she watches over the growing church in the person of her child and hands to us the shining example of her life. In the house of Nazareth, as the first disciple of her son, she receives the message of the gospel and treasures it in her heart and reflects it in her mind. Now with angels and our angels in the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and until willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are thus worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, he may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, the religious, the clergy, and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Dominic, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now as one family, let us pray to the Father in the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we will always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the Lord's sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who invited in this banquet lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together and for every prayer we shall say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, and for every prayer, our response will be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for our voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, look with kindness on those you have strengthened with a sacrament of, with a sacrament from heaven, so that through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may work silently at building up your kingdom on earth and to so enjoy its fulfillment in heaven in the company of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Ngayon po ay ating gaganapin ang pagbabasbas sa mga may karamdaman, sa mga may sakit. At susunod po dito ang pagbibless ng inyo po mga dalang religious articles, mga rosaries, mga novena prayers, or ang mga imahe. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gradually, gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pakalabas po ng inyong mga rosaries and religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mary of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass ascended, let us go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.